Hey guys and welcome, Sean Blackford bringing you yet another Blu-ray review for WWEDVDnews.com. Now this Blu-ray is yet another exclusive for the European market. Silvervision have done very well of getting hold of these Blu-rays. And this is now, you know, I think, what is it? There's a lot come out this year. I can't even remember, but they brought a lot. I think there's only three that they haven't brought out, so they've done very, very well. Uh, over the limit, cap up punishment and money in the bank were the only ones they haven't released. TLC, Survivor Series, Vengeance are all scheduled for a Blu-ray release. And uh, every other one that I haven't mentioned have all been released. So, you know, Silver has done very well this year. Hell in a Cell, for me, is one of the better pay-per-views to come out of 2011. I mean, you've got a decent card from the event. Uh, the disc looks great, as you can see. No outer image or inner image on the uh, set. That's to be expected from a, an exclusive in Europe. Let's have a look at the card now. Uh, from top to bottom, we've got John Cena, CM Punk, Del Rio in a triple threat match for the first time ever inside the Hell in a Cell match for the WWE Championship. Randy Orton and Mark Henry have their second bout of the year inside uh, the uh, Hell in a Cell. Well, the second big match anyway. Uh, Sheamus versus Christian was a fantastic opener. Um, one of the better openers to come out in 2011. They had enough of a build for me to be interested in this match too, rather than most openers that don't have much build. Christian and Sheamus put on a great show, and um, Sheamus showed a lot in this match, I felt. He showed he can go at a certain level and a certain speed. Uh, Christian told a great story in this match as well. Um, in the early on in this match, he was getting beat on, as you'd expect, you know, and uh, he he's like, doing little things like kept slapping him in the face, that Sheamus pissed. To make mistakes, uh, Christian ran the match well, keeping arm's length all the time, working away at Sheamus. Um, he did, there was one spot which I liked where he hit a, you know, his patted back elbow from the top rope, and then he hit a drop kick which looked great. One of many drop kicks what looked great on her this Hell in a Cell pay per view. The finish was great too. There was a spear on the outside, and Christian was trying to win by count out. Sheamus got in the ring. Then he went for another spear in the ring. Sheamus kicked out. Um, then he went for another spear, he hit it in the uh, turnbuckle, or the ring post, turned around and Sheamus had a broke kick waiting for him. Fantastic match, you know, I was very much into the match. Christian did well, great ring general, I feel, you know, obviously he's an experienced superstar, he's one of the better wrestlers in the company. I was very impressed with the opener. Uh, Sin Cara vs Sin Cara had enough going into this as well, for me to be into it. Um, they had a lot of, obviously, their Lucha Libre style into this, uh, but there was a lot of botches which I didn't appreciate. You know, if it was botch free, I'd be you know raving about this match, how good it was. But there was just too many. I think I counted about four four botches in the match. Just wasn't for me. I mean, I'm all right letting a botch go, maybe two go, but to have them three or four, I just not about that. You know, it was a pity, but it's still a decent match. Uh, the tag team title match between Evan Bourne, well, Air Boom, um, and Ziggler and Swagger was fantastic um, for a tag team match of this generation. I mean, let's face it, there's been better tag team matches um, from like 10 years ago. But um, for a modern era, for a tag team match to be this good on pay-per-view, you know, I just can't remember seeing a, a decent match on pay-per-view, especially a tag team match. Um, Dolph Ziggler and Evan Bourne, there was a spot in the match where they had just been very fast-paced, bumps as well. You know, Evan Bourne... Looked good in this match, I felt. You know, some great moves. Um, the, I think he got the pinfall with a, <laughs> on Jack Swagger. There was, the spot at the end was great. The finish was fantastic. And yeah, decent tag team match. For me, one of the better matches of the night. And I would probably say they uh, had the best match of the night. That's all I'm going to say. On the matter, I'm sure people don't think they had the best match of the night, but I do. Cody Rhodes came out um, talking about great Intercontinental Champions and he was bringing back the new classic Intercontinental title with the white strap, the one that he's got now guys. This was the night we brought that title out and um, John Laurinaitis came out and said he'd be facing John Morrison. Um, obviously Cody was in his suit so it was uh, interesting to see how Cody could go with no wrestling in attire and uh, yeah obviously he went over John Morrison. John Morrison did a lot of jobs towards the end of this year obviously because he was leaving the company. Uh, Cody Rhodes managed to get go through Morrison, which was good for him. So yeah, Cody defended the Intercontinental title that night in a decent match, I suppose. wasn't the best match of the night by any stretch of the imagination, but it was good to see it on the card. Definitely looks better on paper than it actually is. Uh, Kelly Kelly versus Beth Phoenix. Uh, they had quite the rivalry in the fall of 2011, and uh, yeah, Beth Phoenix finally took the Divas Championship from Kelly Kelly after two attempt two failed attempts at Night of Champions and SummerSlam. 
I don't really think much to Diva matches, but it was decent enough, I suppose. Um, Mark Henry, Randy Orton told a good story, you know. I mean, Mark Henry was pretty much being on him for the most of the match. Um, there was one one thing where Mark Henry picked the ring stats and launched them, missed Randy. That was pretty cool. Um, Randy Orton hit a great drop kick in this match, as well as other moves on Mark Henry. Um, Mark Henry actually kicked out the RKO, which, you know... Randy sold well, you know, like, I can't believe he sold it. The way his facial expressions from Randy, you know, they made that look brilliant, I felt. Um, and he went for, obviously, the kick to the skull. Didn't work. Henry actually counted it into the world's strongest slam. Worked well, you know. It did actually work real well. And uh, the fans went home happy from that match because, obviously, Mike Henry came back into the ring. Randy destroyed him with a chair, which was good. Obviously, we were trying to put him in the Hall of Pain like he promised. Didn't manage to do that. But yeah, I think Randy didn't come up looking too bad from that match, I suppose. Uh, I reckon that Randy will take the strap somewhere down the line, somewhere down the road. Randy will take that strap back from Henry. So, and I, I kind, of, kind of did leave it open for a possible match in the future. So I do feel like maybe he might take it back after this rivalry with the Big Show ends at some point. But yeah, on to the main event now. The Cena CM Punk Del Rio for me was a fantastic match inside the cell. Um, all the match was great. Uh, Del Rio... At the end of the match, obviously, locked John Cena outside the cell. Managed to pick up the win against CM Punk. Different. The story was told well. And John Cena facials, again, was great on this match. He was trying to open the cell, like, you know, rive it open with sheer strength and force. <laughs> At a failed attempt, which was good to see. I wasn't a hated to see John Cena just rive the door open and just come in and destroy both men. Uh, Del Rio actually took the title away that night from, from John Cena, pinning CM Punk. Great to see that, you know, obviously the end of the match was good too when Miz and our truth who actually came at the beginning of the event, who bought tickets to the event, got escorted out, came out at the end as well and destroyed uh, everything in the ring, referees, um, all three members uh, as well as Rodriguez, you know, managed to do that. All, all the superstars came down to try and get inside the lock cell, couldn't um, get inside, the cell was not rising. And they got arrested at the end, and you, you all know the story, but it was good to see this. It was good stuff on the Hell in a Cell. Definitely one of the better pay-per-views of this year. Fantastic booking as well for the match, you know. Every winner was well you know, well thought out, well deserved, and I liked it. It's a great event. I've got to pick this up from Silvervision. If you've got to go buy the DVD, buy the DVD. There's some good Blu-ray extras, guys. Um, Mark Henry, Carly. That's not the greatest match, no doubt. Uh, John Cena versus Christian, CM Punk versus Del Rio from the Raw prior to the event, as well as um, the matches from SmackDown, Sheamus, Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, Christian, all stuff on the build to this event, all stuff relevant to this event. Um, DVD extras, what you can find on the DVD is an interview with Mark Henry on the night after this event, or, well, the night after the Money in, uh, Night of Champions event, when he takes out Jerry Lawler, and of course we've got the um, interview with Del Rio after he wins the title on this, on this event. So yeah, fantastic event. I'd definitely have to give it 7.25 out of 10. Brilliant. In fact, one of the better events of this year. Go on by it, guys. Peace.